In his application for leave to appeal, Zuma's counsel argued that everyone should be equal before the law, but that Zuma was being treated differently. It was also submitted that Justice Kuhn erred in dismissing Zuma's special plea under Section 1061H of the Criminal Procedure Act. Zuma used this section of the Act to argue that lead prosecutor, Advocate Billy Downer, had no title to prosecute because of alleged bias, which infringed on Zuma's rights to a fair trial. Justice Kuhn, however, dismissed the special plea for the recusal of Advocate Downer in October last year and set down the 11th April this year as trial date. Zuma's counsel argued that there was no justice for their client. His legal counsel also submitted that Advocate Downer and other national prosecuting authority officials should be held accountable for alleged interference in his prosecution over the years. The state, however, argued that Zuma's special plea could not be appealed and maintained that Zuma could bring an appeal on the infringement of his rights to a fair trial at the conclusion of the criminal trial. The state argued that Zuma had very little prospects of success in being granted leave to appeal. The state also said even if it was found that there were irregularities in the prosecution of Zuma, he still had a case to answer. Zuma is being tried on 16 charges of racketeering, fraud, corruption and money laundering in connection with the arms deal of the 1990s. French arms firm Talis faces racketeering and money laundering charges. Zuma supporters aren't expected to turn up in large numbers outside the court. He never addressed the small group of supporters who gathered at his last court appearance when his leave to appeal application was made. Rene Heiner, SABC News, Durban.